Hey guys, I'm Sam. You're watching Spindle Tech, and this video is going to be about how to build a sleek foldable desk from which you can work from home or just use it as a workstation for your projects. And all of this will be built in under a 2000 rupees budget. So let's quickly get started. So for the desk itself, I'm using this plywood board which I had lying around. This particular one is 24 by 18 inches in size. You can get one cut as per your required dimensions at a local plywood shop at a fairly reasonable price. For mounting this board on the wall, I'm using these brackets. Now these are made up of stainless steel and they are pretty heavy duty. The ones which I bought are 12 inches in length and cost around 699 rupees. For the rest to look good, I am using this electroluminescent or an EL wire. This particular wire is 5 meters in length and it costs around 650 rupees. It runs on 12 volt DC power but it does come with a car charging inverter as well as a USB inverter. So you can plug it into any USB outlet and it will work just fine. This wire is also flexible and water resistant so it's quite durable as well. For a nice finish on the desk surface. Instead of painting the plywood, I decided to wrap it up with a vinyl wrap. I got this white marble style 16 by 60 inch wrap for 299 rupees on Amazon. But there are a variety of options available if you don't want to use this one. I'll be adding the links of all the exact same products which I used to make this desk along with some alternatives in the description below so do check them out as well. Now that we have all the parts, the first thing to do is to mark the points on the plywood for the brackets. I did this by marking a center point and then taking a distance of 15 cm on both of the sides. I marked two points and these are the points where the brackets would go. And then by placing the brackets on the plywood, just simply mark all of the points. Now the screws that came with the brackets were quite small and I wanted to use longer screws for more durability. But since the thickness of the plywood was less for longer screws to fit into them, I'm going to add an MDF beam salvaged from some old furniture to the back of the ply. To attach this beam to the desk, I'm just going to cut it to size and then fix it up using some nails. Now the next step is to drill all of the holes that you previously marked as per your brackets. Before adding the brackets to the plywood, I'm going to wrap it first. Now make sure that there are no irregular surfaces on the desk board as they will cause bubbles to form while wrapping. But even if you do, just use a sandpaper to sand down all of the surfaces along with the sides so that you get a smooth finish. And after that, just clean off all the dirt so that it doesn't stick to the adhesive on the wrap. Once you have all these surfaces smoothened out, cut the wrap to the length of the desk, leaving some extra along the borders so that you can cover up the sides with the same piece. This process does require a little bit of patience but make sure to use a hair dryer as it not only melts the adhesive but it also makes the wrap more flexible so covering the corners becomes very easy. Since this was a used plywood board I got a somewhat average finish but it still does look better than before. Now finally it's time to fix the brackets, just use a combination of short and long screws to secure both of the brackets in place. For mounting this whole setup on the wall, I'm going to carefully mark all of the screw holes, drill some holes at those points and fix the whole thing in place using a standard screwdriver. Now that the desk is installed, the last step is to add the lights. This light does come with this extra portion to which I can add any adhesive to and just stick it along any surface that you want. In my case I used a glue gun to stick it along the edge of the beam. And some transparent tape along the borders under the desk. Also make sure that it ends up at a place from where you can easily power it up from. For some extra light, I'm also adding this LED strip to the back of the beam. This is a blue colored LED which runs on 12 volts of power. So I'm gonna have to use a power brick like this one. But you can also use a USB powered LED 
as it's more convenient. For this step, I'm just going to peel off the protective sticker and just stick it along the back like so. So that's it for this desk build. You could also add more couple of things like a USB hub, some extra LEDs or even a cup holder. But I wanted to keep this desk minimal and avoid clutter as much as possible. This desk is a pretty decent place to work from or for some gaming or just to work on any projects. Under a budget of 2000 rupees, this desk turned out to be better than I'd hoped and it also looks absolutely fantastic. So guys if you like this video do press the like button, share this video with your friends, do drop your thoughts and queries about the build in the comment section below and also subscribe to Spindle Tech and follow us on Instagram for more such content. Thank you so much for watching this video, I'll see you in the next one.